And now, your Fox 24 local weather authority forecast. Humidity is back on the increase across the basin. This is a live look at Odessa on your cloudier Friday morning. We do notice very thick clouds. We're about 15 minutes away from sunrise. Still dark because of these very thick clouds obstructing visibility just a little bit of downtown Odessa. But we are not raining because of still stable air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Satellite and radar showing very clear skies in atmosphere, but from Del Rio all the way toward Dallas, Fort Worth, including San Antonio, Austin. These green colors indicate fog and light rain seeping their way in closer into the basin, but generally south and east of the Midland and Odessa area. Dry air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Speaking of the dry weather, our current drought monitor shows that we are one level down in terms of the drought in Midland and Odessa. These red colors indicate the second worst form of drought, no longer the worst form of drought. Extreme drought still nonetheless in Midland and Odessa. Exceptional drought, that is the worst form of drought, highlighted by these dark red colors around Carlsbad. So we need the rain, we need the snow. By the way, we could be seeing some of that later this weekend into early next week, leading up to Halloween. Getting a taste of the cooler air mass in places like Carlsbad, the Guadalupe Pass, down into the Bay Horn region, cooler and drier. But the humidity has overtaken the eastern two-thirds of the basin from Pecos on eastward. Very humid conditions, 100% relative humidity right now in the tall city. Current air temperature sitting right around the 68 degree mark. And again, despite the humidity, we are not seeing that much of a reduction in visibility. Still at 10 miles officially at the airport in Midland. But we're seeing, again, the water vapor, the kind of the very muggy conditions out there. So there could be some patchy fog, especially in Dryden, where temperatures are in the mid-top of 60s. 40s and 50s in northwestern areas of the basin. Cooler and drier air dissecting the western third of the basin and trying to bleed into the northern part of the basin this afternoon. Look at that temperature difference from Midland Odessa to Big Spring on this model. I think we'll fall just short of 80 in Midland. Meanwhile, struggling to reach the 70s in places like Big Spring. 78. Official high temperature, what I'm thinking in the tall city, but just in time for a Friday night lights, Friday night football at a Stan Broadband Stadium. Kickoff temperature at 7 p.m. 68, partly to mostly clear skies and breezy. Lower 60s by halftime as the sun sets, temperatures dropping. A big matchup as the Midland Bulldogs taking on the Midland Legacy Rebels. Some morning fog will meander around the eastern basin, but these clouds will kick off toward the east, allowing for mostly sunny skies during the afternoon. Rain activity generally will be south and east of our viewing area. Partly cloudy overnight as wind switching more from the east, bringing back that moisture. 60s overnight, very mild and humid. Partly cloudy tomorrow, southwesterly winds warming things up and drying things out to 77. Only 20% chance of storms. Then rain showers cooling things off from the upper 40s early on Sunday, eventually into the high 30s during the middle of the day Sunday on Monday 30s. A winter like weather pattern, but on Halloween, slowly warming up and drying out, and that will be the later next week.